Because I have been fascinated by how the train is a part of our American history, I've been curious about checking out the Oklahoma Railway Museum for some time. These trains are the same trains that carried our earliest settlers over the Great Plains. I found that it's free to explore year-round, opens Thursdays through Saturdays, but costs a little if you want to actually ride in a train. The train rides happen every first and third Saturday of the month from April through August, and throughout the year, the museum also runs various special events like the Halloween train and the Polar Express train ride. Here's the ticket office and gift shop. This is one of the oldest cabooses. The caboose is found at the very end of trains. And I actually think that the caboose is the most fascinating section of the train. Even though in the 1980s, developments in technology and safety led to a crew reduction, which meant the end of the need for a caboose. I had no idea that the caboose provides an office and home away from home for the train crew. The train crew consists of the conductor, brakeman, and flagman. The caboose typically includes a desk for the conductor, bunk beds for sleeping, a toilet, a water supply, a stove for heating and cooking, and an ice box. Now we're walking through many of the cars where the passengers would sit. This would be the desk for the conductor. 
who's the railroad official in charge of the entire train. The kids had tons of fun getting up and down where the crewmen would sit. This is a caboose called Rock Island. It originally was built as a boxcar in 1915, and boxcars served to transport manufactured goods. But during World War II, it was rebuilt as a caboose. In 2010, it was used in scenes for a movie called Bringing Up Bobby. This little baggage room had a lot of fun details about the train. This wall shows the tools that the track crew used. Here are all sorts of scales to weigh mainly packages and items being shipped. Also, rail cars had to be weighed with a rail car scale because if the train cars were too heavy, they could potentially be dangerous. If train tracks froze, the train wouldn't run. So these alcohol-fired heaters kept the train tracks from freezing. It's so cool how transportation has come such a long way from trains to streetcars. This is a velocipede, which is used to allow workers to inspect and maintain tracks, switches, bridges, and signals. It's powered by hand and foot, and it weighs about 140 pounds which makes it light enough to be swung off the tracks to make way for trains coming. Railroading is thought to be a man's job, but did you know that women have been employed by railroads in America for almost 200 years? We have definitely come a long way with transportation, but I still think it's fun to ride a train once in a while. Thanks to all the men and women who have paved the way, we hope you have come to a greater appreciation for the railway as I have. Come back and travel with us again soon.